Hi, I'm Lady Trample here with Team Antic and today we're going to work on some building blocks for stalling using your toe stops. So the very first thing we want to focus on is getting the idea of transitioning on and off our toe stops seamlessly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip my weight forward and then back down. And I want to be able to change from having four wheels per skate down to two wheels and a toe stop without really changing anything in my body. And I should be able to do this from standing up high and then also down low. So that whatever form I'm in when this moment happens, I know what it feels like. The first movement we're going to practice is that same switch on and off our toe stops, but we're going to do it up the transition at the peak of our pump, and this is going to simulate what it feels like to stall in a bowl. The next variation is going to be getting comfortable switching your weight onto a singular foot. This can be your leading foot, which is the one in front of you. Or you can ride it out and make your back foot the one that goes down. Key thing, keep your weight balanced over the leg that has the weight. So when I do this stall, if I'm going on my left foot, I swing my hips to the left. And when I go to the right, swing my hips to the right. The next variation is going to be rotating or transitioning out of your stall. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your body, I call this my steering wheel, and I'm going to turn my steering wheel in the direction that I want to go. The turn must start from your upper body, and as I turn my steering wheel, you'll notice that my hips start to shift, and that's going to allow the rest of my body to follow through. Key thing, try and make the turn happen as soon as you're stalling. If you wait, then you're going to be delayed and it's going to become an under rotation. So to get the full commitment to that 180, I need to stall and already be thinking about rotating. The next variation is going to be coming backwards or fakey and you're going to do a transition to turn around and then do that same toe stop still we've been practicing. This is going to feel like a turn around toe stop and you can do it with a leading leg or both feet at the same time. I like to practice both. Key things so you don't get tangled is to lift the foot or step with the foot that is the same direction you are going. So if I'm turning to the left, my left foot goes first, and if I'm turning to the right, my right foot goes first. So the very last part is where creativity comes into play. What I have is all of these different movements coming in forwards, rotating out, rotating into it, single foot, and now I get to combine them.